somebody pass me a box of tissue i'm about to cry okay so today's project we are going to be restoring this bathroom that has been sitting dormant for the past three or four years this bathroom has been so mistreated this tub has been chipped and stained and mistreated and abused and unloved and unbathed and unshowered and uncleaned did i say unclean already do you see how filthy this tub and these tiles are we are going to completely redo this bathroom today everything but the floor so let's get it started I was gonna skip the personal commentary on the bathroom, but oh my God, oh my God. First of all, this bathroom is gonna be so much work. I've peeled off most of the wallpaper um, that's here. We've removed the old dungeness caulk that was around the tile um, as well as the tub. Um, and now I'm getting ready to sand the bottom of the tub out so that we can refinish that. Um, before I do refinish the tub, I am, of course, going to paint over this most hideous <laughs> pink and black tile that's in here. Um, so the tile where we are going to use the Kills Primer, um, two coats for that, and then we're going to go ahead and paint over with a white oil-based paint. Now the tub is probably going to take me about 20 minutes to get that completely sanded down. Um, we've already removed all of the caulk and I accidentally put like some pine saw in the tub <laughs> trying to clean it. But now I know that's not necessary. It's going to mess up my sander. So now I just have to wipe the tub down and dry it and then go ahead and start sanding and get to work on this project. This is going to be it's a very small bathroom, but it's a huge project because some of this wallpaper that's in here, I really think the wallpaper came with the house in like 1972 because it didn't want to come off for anything. So in the living room, we'll show where we had to use. Um... Okay, clearly I was just very distraught here. So let's just get back to it. Okay, so originally I thought that sanding this tub down was going to take me about maybe 20 minutes until I actually got in the tub and started feeling um, like where the old seal was coming off. It was so very chipped. So I started out using a 40 grit piece of um, sandpaper. I went through about six of those and then I switched to a 60 grit just to smooth it out some because I knew I was gonna use the Rust-Oleum um, restoration kit to basically fill it in first and then put a whole new layer over it. So all in all, sanding the tub down actually took me about an hour and a half. Okay guys, so here we have the results of the first layer of Kills Primer. I basically just threw the whole can of paint in there and just hopefully it landed where it needed to and now I'm coming in with the desert sand paint um, this is a high gloss paint as well you always want to go with the high gloss paint when you are in the bathroom or the kitchen it's easier to clean opposed to using a flat paint or um, a mat I guess matte is fine but you really should go with a a gloss um, sheen when you're painting in a bathroom or in the kitchen sorry I closed the door on you guys apparently I needed a bit of privacy while I was crying because I was still stuck in this dungeonous bathroom so yeah okay here I go I'm done with the tears so <laughs> yeah it took me two coats to get um, the paint exactly where I wanted in the bathroom with the desert sand And we are back for day two. I let everything set overnight. I'm really, really, um, I'm kind of excited about how it turned out. And I'm also very hurt because I was doing all this painting and stroking of uh, brushes and rollers. And I didn't realize it, but my camera died. So one of the biggest parts that I really wanted to film while redoing this bathroom was the tub. I do have after pictures showing you what 
um, the tub turned out to look like. It almost looks brand new. I read a lot of reviews on this Rust-Oleum kit before I purchased it and a lot of people were saying that it wasn't going to fill in any chips or you know anything like that. You basically would have to purchase another tub but they lied because I killed this tub. Not with the primer but <laughs> with the Rust-Oleum kit. You'll see in a moment. All right, guys, this tub and this bathroom really put me to work. Here is the view with the second coat of the Rust-Oleum Restoration Kit. And here is the finished product. It looks so nice, so pristine, and just it's clean, it's white, it's usable. Don't forget to use caulk to outline the tub and seal everything up. And we just want to say thank you for watching. If this video was helpful to you in any way, let us know. Leave us a comment below. If you like the video, please like the video.